Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with training Australia's dangerous magpies. Before we jump into this, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! How are you going? Now, if you aren't Australian, you probably don't know who this guy is. Mm. But for Aussies, no other animal strikes fear into the heart quite uh, like the magpie. I got it, and I gotta say that's a complete fact. I've seen many videos of Australia's dangerous animals. I've seen many videos of the people of Australia. And one thing I always hear is about them goddamn magpies, them swooping magpies, them. You better not walk in this territory when they got a nest up in the trees because it's a wrap. You got to decorate your helmet with limbs and branches and all that stuff just, just so they ain't attacking your head. The magpie is a very intelligent bird. So intelligent, it has always beat me in Scrabble. <laughs> oh it my is also God. very observant and watches all the horrible things us humans do throughout the year. <laughs> and then, in September, the cunning magpie decides it's had enough of our shit and it's going to get revenge. It's oh. normally a sure sign that spring has well and truly sprung. Magpies swooping pedestrians and bike riders on the streets of Sydney. Its revenge is so brutal that it makes prime time news. No other animal systematically attacks and torments people. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you are a 90 year old woman returning home from your weekly bingo game or a schoolboy walking home, the magpie will chase you for a kilometre, shit on your new shirt and make sure you don't leave your house until October. I know magpies ain't playing no games. They said in September, these are streets. Know what I'm saying? You want to walk on our streets, you need a pass from us. You ain't got your pass, it's swoop swoop time. Swoop swoop. And you know what? I kind of respect its temper. If more animals behaved like the vengeful magpie, the world would probably be a better place. Probably. To my surprise, a month before September, I noticed that we had a friendly gang of magpies hanging around in our yard, and I conceived a wild idea. If I could What's befriend that? the magpies before they turned their backs on me, or even train them, then I could avoid a month of fear and embarrassment, and I might be able to mm. harness their infamy. If everyone fears the magpie, and I control the magpies, then everyone would fear me. Dang. Now, I don't re- Sinister plan. But a great one at that. Sinister, but a great plan. You control what everybody fears. And everybody will really fear have you. have the greatest plan. But I reckon that if I seduce the magpie with a wide range of bread, and I ring this go. bell every time it eats, I can get it to associate this annoying noise with myself, food, and happiness. Hmm. Oh my god. I already know it works on humans. First, it was tough. The magpies didn't really want anything to do with me or the bell, but when I persisted, I noticed that one of them, this little maverick, let's call him Zuko, was pretty comfortable, so I figured I would target him with the sourdough bread. At first, Zuko was really scared of me and the bell, and really didn't want to get in reach of me. But he wanted that bread, didn't he? Or eat his bread anywhere near me. I see him walking towards it. But after trying a couple of times, he was more comfortable. And started hey, to... Hey, he at the door. Where the bread at? Where, where that bread? I'm, I'm gonna need get, I want some special. I want, some, I want the white bread today. I don't want that wheat again. Give me that white Trust bread. Trust me a bit more. Every morning... He would just be chilling out, waiting outside the door for his feed. Although his mates, let's call them the T-Birds, still didn't trust me. Hey, they said, they said, we still, we, we ain't rocking with them. They said, can you get the bread and bring it back to us? We still don't trust him. We, 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 we. I really wish I could speak, Bird. Although he is probably telling me to stop fucking ringing this bell. 
Eventually, Zuko started hanging around a lot more. And one of his mates started to trust me as well. Hey! And I reckon I had got them to associate me with bread, but I wasn't sure about the bell. They really seemed to still hate it. Wait guys, chill out. I'll give you all bread, okay? I felt a bit bad about creating a bit of conflict in the group, and then I remembered <coughs> they're birds. <laughs> he said, did I remember they're birds? Word must have spread around that some idiot was giving out free bread, and some other boys decided to crash the party. Oh, dang. Other birds that no came idea along. Why the magpies just run away from the small lorikeets. <laughs> they would definitely beat them in a fight. Well, then maybe it's because they hop around like freaks, or maybe a hierarchy of beauty applies to the animal kingdom as well. And they just make room for the prettier animals. That Regardless, might be what it is. They all seem to hate the bell. Eventually, I had every bird in the neighborhood hanging around in my yard, chilling God around for day. free feed. And the lorikeets were still the top dogs. And the magpies had to resort to some sneaky tactics, aided by myself, to get some food. Do it. And even though I had enough bread for all the birds, an all-out gang war broke out with my uh -oh. love and bread at the center. Uh-oh. Oh, they finna start jumping. More birds rocked up and there was an obvious pecking order in the bird kingdom. Uh-oh. In which the magpies were at the bottom. Dang. Followed by the beautiful but dumber lorikeets who flashed their colors in order to get a free feed. Then, the kookaburra. Hey, the kookaburra that came to... God dang! It's an all-out bird war he done created. He done started over this bread. Everyone's good side by laughing at everything you have to say. Mm. Good point. Good point. Can't trust... Can't trust him. Can't Mate, trust what are you laughing life. about? And finally, the giant fucking king of the birds, the crested cockatoo. Uh-oh. It seems as though the magpie had lost the fight for bread, but Dang. I realized they had one thing on their side, their intelligence. Bread's mm. back on the menu, boys. Out of all the birds that were in my yard, they were the only bird that learnt that me ringing this annoying bell meant that dinner was served, and they were first to eat every single time. Hmm. There they go. I just said, we know what that mean. Dang, that's crazy. And you know, I never managed to train them to attack people or to ride them like a scene from Lord of the Rings. But I did learn a couple of things. Firstly, you really don't need a vacuum cleaner when you have a magpie around. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, I know like you're cool and all, but I, I really don't think you should be in my house. Yeah, me neither. Maybe, although you are eating scraps on the floor. Actually, this is a great idea. And the reason they swoop everybody is because you give all your fucking bread to the prettier birds. You know, I kept mm. my magpie. That makes a good point. That, that, that's a, that'd be a good reason for swooping. It'd be a great reason for swooping. It's nice and full. Yeah, happy with that? And they didn't swoop me once in the month of September. If you like that video, subscribe. Love that video. I love his content, bro. His content is dope. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.